Exactly. So first, let's first to give you a, a flow of what is going to be done here. And in Guinea Mayo, quickly show the president how we start and where we end. Your Excellency, I welcome you to Lubiti Wastewater Treatment Plant. Mm. This project so is. We, a, we have now passed Kawente. Kawente is that side. Is yes, the other side, yes. Yeah. Okay. This project is a part of the Kampala Sanitation Program. Those are manholes. The pipe is a, a four feet, I mean four, four meter deep. So, oh, so it is below the swamp? Yes. It, it passes like that along the northern bypass. It just crosses here. Oh, it's so, so it comes. Northern, follow the northern bypass, oh, no. then it comes like this, then it comes here. 
Çok makarna reis ne bu ya? Makarna reis ya da abi ya. Taç yürü de. Taç yürü de. Ben mülakı sıkıyorum. Ne düşüyor ne ya? This area we are going to cover them in the next day. This is our land. What pushes it up? It, they, this are uh, what you call screw pumps. They look like this. They are pumps. Yeah, this type yeah. of pump. This is where. So it, it rolls is a, it is lifted. It is powered point. by what? Electricity. Electricity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there is. That's the only bit of pumping we do here. Oh, now, the next phase we are going to be, uh, we hope to do the next phase which will cover Kasubi, Namungona, Kanyanya, the, the, the public. Two of them. This is the pump now. This is the pump. This is the between the cooperation, cooperation staff and the LC. Many government projects, Your Excellency, are misconceived because the LCs are left out. First of all, we took up arms to fight this project because we didn't know what was taking place. But after further explanations, and all that, we came to the conclusion that this was a good project. You see what we are going to lose because there is a mapping project going on, I understand, by Yuga Wait, the line minister will clarify. But unfortunately, the local leaders are left out. Imagine someone coming with the truck loads full of and the soldiers and the surveyors and the start surveying people's property. If this one is uh, correct to go to the ground, the LOCs can be very essential mobilizers. I call upon the Land Minister to please consider this priceless reform so that government programs are not deleted. Once again, Mr. President, I want to thank you for gracing this project. I thank you. With Yeah. 
and we shall soon be in 50 towns by end of this financial year. So we are moving very strongly, massively, to make sure that we support the manifesto of government. Your Excellency, when we do this, we are going to do it with the communities. We have brought the culture of announcing six months infrastructure service plans in all the towns where we operate. And the reason why we do this, we want the public to know what the government is doing in the towns where we are operating. And Your Excellency, I'm happy to report that through this approach, alone this financial year, we are going to implement or to install 262 kilometers of pipeline. And this is going to do nothing but increase coverage to the people we are serving. Your Excellency, the corporation is full of innovative staff. We have so many innovative programs. We have our divisions, they have action plans. We are going to have evaluative balances where divisions will be tasked to explain what they have done to the public within a certain time. We are working with the communities through water communications clubs, the so-called Wakoko, whereby we have formed sales of the communities that will work with the national water to make sure that we deliver all the services. Your Excellency, you must have heard that we have water supply challenges, especially here in Kampala. It is a good indicator of development, but it is a challenge to us. The population is growing very fast, and we are working very hard to catch up with the pace of development. As I talk, Your Excellency, we have already started a huge water project that is going to take water to Namasova and serve all the western parts of Kampala with water where they are complaining currently. And all the other towns, especially Fort Potro, Kasese, Ebushenyi, Mbarara, the Guru, Arua, they also have some issues of water supply. And the corporation has put in plans to make sure that we stabilize supply there. In short, Your Excellency, we are working very hard to support this government, support our government, and make sure that people get improved services. On sanitation, Your Excellency, sewerage itself, we are not doing very well. Like Kampala, we only have 6 to 7 percent coverage, mostly in the, in the central business district. So what we are doing now and what we are launching now is very important to start increasing sewerage coverage to the urban parts of the towns. But on top of sewerage, we are also going to have sanitation, on-site sanitation, mix it together so that we can reach as many people as possible with safe sanitation. So in short, Your Excellency, that is the broad framework under which we are working. We really want to thank you very much. We want to thank the government for providing a conducive environment. Before I call upon the Deputy Mayor of Kawempe, Your Excellency, there was, uh, I think we didn't take you through very well here. When sewage comes there, it flows and it joins a real treatment process. There are a series of ponds that uh, treat this sewage and eventually it is released to the wetland when it is even, it is almost drinking water. So there's no fear that the sewage will release to the wetland is bad. We test it and make sure that it complies, it complies with the national standards. And the other aspect of it is that we get manure which we can then sell to the public and enhance our culture. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for coming once again. Please give me uh, a chance to invite His Worship, the Mayor of Kawete, whom we have worked with very closely in order to implement this project successfully. Your Worship, Your Honor, give a few words. My name's uh, Kamehanda Ibrahim Merembe. I'm the Deputy Mayor, Kawempe Division, Urban Council, Kampala Capital State Authority. Your Excellency, the, the Minister of Water and Environment, our representatives of the development partners from Germany and the uh, European Union, the board chairman, National Water and Sewage Corporation, the RCC, 
Kampala, the deputy RCC, the councillors present, all the community leaders, ladies and gentlemen, you all come to this place. And uh, on this note, I take the honor, Your Excellency, to welcome you to Kampala Capital City. This area is called the Rubiji, and it's where this sewerage treatment plant is located. It's true, it is in the Rubaka Division, and uh, the most affected area is in Kawepe Division. Because because out of the 17 villages that were affected by this uh, storage plant, 15 of them are in Kawembe. It's only two that are in uh, Rubaka. And we are sharing this Luigi swamp. This part is Kawembe. And then this part, you see, Rubaka. And then when you go further, it is Wakiso again. So we are sharing it. And Wakiso is also a metropolitan area of Kampala. Uh, Your Excellency, Kawempe Division Urban Council is a very big area and with a population of 500,000 residents. And during that day, the population increases to over a million. Uh, Your Excellency, Kawempe has got 22 parishes, those are wards, we call them wards in KCCA, and uh, 119 villages, those are the LOCs. Uh, this plant, Your Excellency, has come at the right time when Kampala is being faced with the uh, spillage of uh, sewer flowing on the top of the ground. One, due to old uh, pipes, and another one is the capacity of the old treatment plants that uh, could not carry all the sewage. And as you heard, Kawempe is one of the areas that has been greatly affected. It has got only 3 to 5% uh, sewage coverage. 